what we're doing here is building a piece of infrastructure that will allow us to feed plants with the atmospheric composition that will be around these plants by about the year 2050 or 2100, depending on how good we are at decarbonising our economies. The way that we feed the, a, a woodland system like this with extra carbon dioxide is by mixing some pure carbon dioxide with the air that's all around us and then feeding it into pipework which will be built up right through the canopy so there will be a ring of pipes about 30 meters wide 90 feet wide and as high as the tallest tree in the ring a little bit higher and there won't be any enclosure it'll be completely open to the elements but it will we will control how we inject the air with extra carbon dioxide so that we keep enriched carbon dioxide in that little patch of woodland and then can compare to other patches of woodland which don't have enriched uh, air added to them. We're really answering one big question which is where does the carbon go? So we know that about a th one in every three carbon dioxide molecules that we release from burning fossil fuels is drawn down into plants and ultimately into the soil and we want to know will that continue to be as efficient as it is now or will it be uh, less efficient or perhaps more efficient as uh, the carbon dioxide levels change. And to do that we need to look um, not just at leaves and small plants in the laboratory, we need to take the laboratory out into the woodlands and see how real complicated environments perform overall.